Hey everyone, if you wanted for any reason to reset your WordPress website to its default settings, like starting from totally scratch, in this video, I'm going to show you how you can do that. So without further ado, let's dive right in. First of all, what we'll have to do is navigate to our plugins, add new, and over in the search box, you want to type WP reset. For the time of recording of this video, it will be this exact plugin by Web Factory LTD with the red and black arrows. So head over install and activate it. So in order to find the settings for this plugin, what you want to do is navigate either to your plugins if you haven't been redirected already and scroll to the bottom until you see the WP reset and then just click the open WP reset tools or just go to tools and then scroll to the bottom of this little sidebar and then hit the WP reset. It will navigate you to this exact page. So first of all, what you want to do is head over to snapshots and take a snapshot. Now name your snapshot. For my example, it will be something like this is the first snap shot of my website and then hit create a snapshot. It will create your snapshot, then great, snapshot created. So why do we have to create a snapshot? Now, a snapshot is basically just creates a moment in time where it saves all the databases that you have on your WordPress website, but it's not, it's not a full backup. If you need a full backup of all your files on your current website, what you want to do is head over to your plugins, add new, and then search for backup. You can use plugins like Updraft Plus, Duplicator, and All-in-One WP Migration, which all of them are great plugins and also Jet Backup by Jet Backup. Once you've done that, head over back to your tools under WP Reset and then head over to Reset and then scroll to the bottom until you see this section, Site Reset. So here you have a few options. You can reactivate current theme after the site have been resetted and it will show you the exact theme that is currently active on your website. In my instance, it is Hello Elementor. You can also set it to reactivate WP Reset plugin and reactivate all current active plugins if you wish to. So after you've done that and before we reset fully our website or in my case, this website, I want to see how my website is currently looks. So I'll open it in a new tab and head over to my main page. Currently right now, it's from an Elementor pre-made template. So it's what you can see here. It's already styled up and you can see some text. You can see some images and some effects. So if I'll go back, so what you want to do is type here the word reset and then click the button reset site. It will ask you one last time, are you sure you want to reset your website? And if you still want to, you can hit the reset WordPress. But before you do that, it will tell you always create a snapshot if you want to be able to undo. So that's what we made the snapshot. So in my case, I want to reset the WordPress website. So I click reset WordPress and you'll see resetting in progress. Please wait. As you can see here, it's have been resetted. And we see here the welcome to WordPress as we are usually greeted when we have a new WordPress installation on our website. So if we go to the front end and I'll go to this open tab that I've already have, you can see currently right now it's not changed. But if we hit the refresh button right over here, you can see that everything is totally refreshed and we have everything from scratch as you can see right now. And if I'm going back and I want to reset what I've already had in my snapshot. So that's why we had created the snapshot in order to be able to revert back to what we had. So we'll have to go to tools, WP reset and then snapshots. And when we go to our snapshot, what we want to do is go to actions and then restore snapshot. It will also prompt you. Are you sure you want to do that? So yes, in my case, I want to restore the snapshot and you can see it will kind of yell at you. There is no undo. So in my case, it's fine. So I'll proceed with restore snapshot. You can see it's restoring a snapshot. And once it's done, it will tell you it's done. And you can see right now there is nothing to be found here. But if we go back over here and I'll refresh, you can see that my page is back as it was. Now, again, it is very, very important that you do a full backup of your WordPress website before you do this reset. So none of the files or none of the databases or none of all of the databases and files are lost completely. So yeah, that's pretty much it. If this video helped you, I'll be really glad to if you leave a thumbs up and make sure you subscribe to my channel so you won't miss any tutorial that I post on this channel on WordPress, Elementor or WooCommerce. And as always, I'll be seeing you in the next one.